So I finally did it. I went and got myself my first ever New Balance 2002s. Yeah, I got me some New Balances. <laughs> Yes, people, hope you're all good. Like I said in the intro, man, I went I went and got some New Balances. But let me clarify to you, I've got nothing against New Balance, yeah? I just think there's some better looking trainers out there. And we all know, man, New Balance are called the dad shoe. But what I have always said is, when New Balance collab, their shoes go to another level. When they do their standard ones, it's not that great. But what they did do on their standard 220s, is it, or 2002s, is it 2002s, 2002s? I don't know how to say, it. I'm just not that new brand. So don't cuss me, but when they done it, they done a protection pack and it came in three different colors. I think you had the gray, the pink and the blue. I managed to get my hands on the blue ones. So this is, my first time of not only buying, not only wearing, my first ever review of a standard New Balance. A protection pack standard? Am I, am I wrong in saying that? They're not, no, they're not standard because they, they got a little bubble gum remix to them. So I apologize. This is my first review of just a New Balance 200. 2002s. How do I say it? What, how, what, is it 2002s? Is it 2002s? I don't know. Let me know below. I'm not cussing. Just let me know and don't cuss me. I don't know if this is standard. This is a grey New Balance box. You've got MB on the top, as you can see there. It's got some more branding on the sides there. Um, down, yeah, just down the bottom. You've got a handle here to hold it, obviously. And it says here, M2002 RDI, sizing, then it says medium maroon. Oh, I don't know what that means. Um, when you open a box, it's just a standard cardboard box inside, as you can see. You've got standard tissue paper, but it has got the New Balance emblem on it. And it does say New Balance, just little N's and B's flying everywhere. Inside, I've got this label. It says, in case of exposure to moisture, you may experience color migration onto lighter sections of the shoe. This migration is due to the deep suede color and is inherent to the natural material. Migration may also incur from dark collar linens onto light colored socks due to normal water and perspiration. If your shoe does become wet, Insert absorbent paper towel and place the shoe on its side to dry. Let the shoe air dry naturally. No hair dryers, clothes dryers, ovens. Ross, I've never thought of even putting my shoes in the ovens to dry. Wow. Someone must have sued someone. Someone must have sued someone for them to put this warning like that because they put their shoe in the oven. I have never thought putting my kicks in the oven. So New Balance has sent this out because they must have been sued because they put the shoe in the oven and it, it burnt. I don't know. I've never seen this before. Is this a standard warning? <laughs> like instructions? Wow. First thing I'm going to tell you about this New Balance is it is so light. Wow. It is so light. I, like this looks like a heavy shoe. There's a lot to this shoe. But I'm telling you now, this is one of the lightest kicks I've held in my hand for a long time. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I'm, I'm impressed right now. Yeah. But let's do what we normally do. Let's start with the sole. We've got a very grippy sole divided into all sorts of sections. And in the middle, I don't know if this is some kind of support, like you've got like with the torsions on the Adidas. You've got a plastic kind of membrane here, which says 
it's got a logo that says sustainability web and then in the middle of that which is another material it's definitely like the midsole material um you've got the word new balance imprinted on there as you can see there. running up in the midsole you then have like i said that plastic membrane which is dead center in the middle of the foot you've got another kind of material which is indented and then you've got like what looks like gel or like shock absorbers just run on the outside of the shoe there and around the heel at the back as you can see there on top of that midsole where it's, it turns from gray to white and then there's a, a logo there which says energy now again i don't know if this is some kind of you know like react system they have in there midsole to give it comfort but there's a lot going on in this midsole you've got three different colors um the outside is not the same as the inside of the shoe as you can see on the inside it's just almost like one block of color apart from again you have that plastic kind of membrane which may still run under the midsole of the foot but just overlaid by the sole so on the inside it's just a completely different design um I don't think it's a different unit. I think it's still one unit. It's just got different patterns and cutouts in it. The shoe itself is, I cannot tell you what the base is. I think the base is, it's so much overlays. There's so much to this shoe. Let me just say, there's one, two, three different colors, four. There's four different colors on this shoe. The overlays are a mixture of all velvet. You've got a light blue, a lighter blue and then a darker blue. Just on the heel, you've got the word 2002R kind of printed or embossed onto the heel. And then the overlays are finished like they're uncut. It's not, it's not smooth, it's a jagged finish to it. So it looks like it should be a summer shoe, you know, because this is almost like a webbing, like a nylon webbing, which, it's on a toe box just around your little toe and your ball of your foot. The overlays go up on top of the toe box, just where the toe box is and the lace begin. You've got an N for New Balance and you've got some cream whitish type laces, which look like rope. It's a, a rope kind of thread to it. You've got that same web in what you've got the toe box, which runs through the tongue. And then again, you've got an overlay of suede for the hook to keep the tongue with the laces. Then on top of that, you've got a blue color, which is almost the same color as the webbing on the toe box, but it's leather. Again, it's, un it's unfinished, it's not smooth. It's a jagged edge. The sewing's there and it hasn't been finished. And then you can see the opening of the, of the tongue where they haven't sealed it up or sewn it. So you, you're left with an unfinished looking shoe. If we're going back to the top of the shoe, like I said to you, you have different color suede overlays. At the high end of the shoe, near your ankle, you have a dark blue suede. And on top of that, you have the New Balance emblem there, as you can see. That itself looks like it's reflective. I couldn't tell if it is, because I haven't really worn these at night and I couldn't really tell you. The insole, again, is a normal type insole, white kind of cotton or threading over it you've got a new balance logo and it says running as well in there a little triangle and then on embossed on the underside of the insole you've got the new balance emblems and the word new balance and then some other um, designer painting modeling numbers under that in terms of size i bought these my usual my normal size and they fit true to size they are very comfortable I'm not gonna lie. listen, like I said to you, I'm not against New Balance, and I've always heard that New Balance are one of the most comfortable kicks you're gonna get. So I'm not surprised they're comfortable, but I am surprised at how comfortable they are. People haven't been lying, and I can see why New Balance turn into beta kicks. You know, you see them mash up New Balances, what people went to supermarket. I don't like them, but you see them and I can get, I get it. I understand it. Like I said to you, it's a very light kick. The material is just, it's crazy because if we go to the heel now, that, uh, that light overlay, which you've got around the toe of the box, which is the unfinished as well, it travels around to the heel in a non-symmetrical kind of way. 
and travels up. At the back of the hill, you've got that darker type suede with perforations in it. What you'd think would be for breathing, but obviously you don't breathe in your heel like that. Your heel's got cemented into the shoe, and but it's got that kind of perforation in it. Then just beneath that, you've got like a plastic type material. You can hear that. And embossed in that, you've got the New Balance emblem as well. Again, I don't know if that glows at night, but it's the same color as the sponge on the tongue you see. So I don't know if that's exposing the sponge, which is underneath in the heel, or it's just a design thing. I couldn't tell you. Above that, just around your heel collar, you have the same leather what you have on top of the tongue, smooth leather. But again, this is in a darker color just to synchronize with the dark blue around the top of the uh top of the ankle and at the back of the heel as well and again it's the same almost same color as the suede which runs underneath that too on the inside again you've got the new balance logo there which is in a plasticky you no know, scratchy type material again i don't know if that glows in the dark maybe it does because it is a running shoe i think this design it's just completely different from the normal 202 R's I've seen out there. And the two, most of 202 R's you could easily walk past. Another great thing about New Balance is the price. Yes, it's over hundred pound, but most kicks are over hundred pound, but it's nowhere near say the Jordan price, which are now 165 to 180 pounds. I think I picked these up for about a hundred and I think 35 or 45 pounds. I might, it may even have been cheaper. I've just had them in a the box so long. I just haven't brought myself to bring them out because of that non-existing love I had for New Balance. So for the value, for, let's, let, let me, let, let's, let's get this clear. For the price you pay, this is top quality. This is premium material, no cap. This is crazy material. And with this unfinished ragged look what you've got here it, you just got to get a pair so it's a thumbs up for new balance i never thought i'd have a new balance on my channel like this and i'll be saying to you it's worth a cop but yeah man new balance you've done your thing with this you've done your thing thanks for watching make sure you like subscribe definitely hit the notification bell and I'll see you again, maybe with another New Balance review. I don't know. We'll see, innit? But just tune in, innit? Patrick T, I'm gone. Peace.